All right, we got nutrition from science to you. Now, this is a textbook, so we know I will be going through the entire book and having a glossary and all this kind of good stuff online. Just give me a minute. It's going to take a minute. It's a whole textbook. It actually looks like it's a pretty brand new one, too. You hear, the, you hear it? Yeah. All right. What we got? <clears throat> Now, obviously, we're going to, since it's a textbook, get, where is it? Let's get to the, oh, whoa, yeah. Okay, there are 21 different chapters. Yeah, there's 21 different chapters. This is going to be extremely interesting, extremely interesting for me to read. I mean, maybe it's not for you guys, but I'm kind of a nerd like that. Uh, hence the reason I have a library and I've been going through all these books, right? Uh, trying to find something that sparks my mind and hopefully sparks yours as well. Nutrition is huge for me. Um, um, hmm. Energy balance and body consumption. I'm always trying to figure out ways to have more energy, right? I mean, today... It was a bad idea. I ate way too much for breakfast and put myself in a food coma. But it's okay. 14, 5, 22. All right. Energy, balance, and body composition. Now look at this, man. Um, I guess that's kind of cool. It's kind of ridiculous. It's kind of all over the place. Um, okay, let's go. Number two, being skinny is always healthier than being overweight. I don't know if that's true. So, See, this is... What? See, you can't, it doesn't even tell you, it just, it just is stupid. So I got to go through all this just to find what. what? You see one, okay. So what's going on here is they have these sub, subsections of chapter without any pages. So it's a little difficult for me to find what they're talking about or where it is. Because it doesn't, this is ridiculous. Okay, um, what? This whole chap, what's going on here? I guess it's, these are probably only paragraphs since I went through the whole chapter and I, I don't see, I don't see any of the stuff in here. Where's the exercise department? We got energy imbalance results in weight loss or gain. Okay. Food and beverages, basal and resting metabolic rate, energy used for physical activity or exercise, body processes and physical physical results and energy out. And there we go. I, I don't see. Maybe these maybe these are just um no side notes. Let's read them. I thought it was going to be paragraphs, but I guess they're just notes. So uh, exercise isn't necessarily to lose weight, okay? Being skinny is always healthier than being overweight, okay? Men burn more kilocalories than women. BMI is the best way to determine if you are at a healthy weight, overweight, or obese. Interesting. Storing fat around the hips is usually... is as unhealthy as storing it around the waist. Isn't that like the same thing? That's not. Body composition is the same thing as body weight. <laughs> uh, eating an excess of 100 kilo calories per, per day result in a weight gain of a pound a week. Wow. Skin fold calipers are the most accurate technique for measuring body composition. 
and women should aim for less than 5% body fat. That is, wow. What does it say men should shoot for? Goodness. So it says 546 for answers. What? And number 10, overweight people are more likely to have a hard time sleeping. Oh, these are true or false. Okay. Okay. Hello. I was wondering what this TF meant. Uh, now I'm getting it. It's true or false. All right. All right. Well, scratch the fact that those are all facts. They're either true or they're false. Three, 546. Let's see if I was right or wrong. Okay. Number one is true. Exercise Exercise, technically exercise isn't necessary to produce a negative energy balance. It is, however, the best approach to prevent a drop in basal metabolism and to promote health benefits. Number two is being skinny is always healthier than being overweight. False. Having a BMI of less than 18.5 indicates a state of underweight. Being overweight increases the risk of serious health consequences, including anemia, heart, irregular... Wait, what is this? Being underweight increases the risk of serious health consequences, including anemia, heart irregularities, osteoporosis, amorrhea, depression, and anxiety. Okay. Ben, men burn more kilocalories than women. This is true. Males, males have a higher BMR than females, mostly because they have more muscle mass and lower levels of es essential fat. The higher BMR results in higher energy exp expenditure. All right, number four, BMI is the best way to determine if you're healthy weight or overweight or obese. That is true. The dietary guidelines for Americans recommend using weight for health, for height or body mass index calculations to estimate whether you are at a healthy height or weight. Number five, storing fat around the hips is usually as as health as around the hips is as unhealthy as storing around the waist. False. Android obesity is storing excess fat around the abdomen. Puts an individual at higher risk for cardiovascular disease and diabetes than gynoid obesity, which is the storage of fat around the hips. That was pretty interesting. Okay, we got number six. Body composition is the same thing as body weight. Uh, body weight measures the amount of total body fat plus lean body mass but does not assess the amounts of each, while body composition composition indicates the ratios of body fat to total body weight and lean body mass to total body mass. Okay, look at this. This is, I mean, this is just a dog hair. All right, this is uh, a pleth 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 plethora of information. Okay, where are we? Number seven, eating an excess of 100 kilocalories per day will result in weight gain of a pound per week. This is also false. If you eat an extra 100 kilocalories per day, I don't even know how many that is, right? Uh, for a week, that is equal to 700 additional kilocalories, not the 3,500 kilocalories you need to gain a pound. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, number eight. Skinfold calipers are the most accurate technique for measuring body composition. This is also false. As in the most accurate techniques for measuring body composition are the densimetry measurements, including underwater hydrostatic weighing, air displacement, plethormosography, and DEXA scans. However, skinfold calipers are often the least expensive and most practical method for individuals me measuring body composition in a gym or recreation center rather than a lab. All right, number nine, women should aim for less than 5% body fat. I figured this was a little loony toony. Uh, this is false. A percent body fat of less than 25 for a male and 30 for a female would be considered normal weight. 
A body percent, a percent body fat less than 5% would be less than the minimum essential fat needed for female to maintain normal functions. That's kind of what I thought because women have babies, so they actually, and they have uh, breasts, which are basically fat. So 5% body fat means it's your like skin and bones. Um, and for our last one, overweight people are more likely to have a hard time sleeping. This one is true. Uh, overweight individuals have an increased risk of developing sleep apnea, which interrupts sleep. All right. Bow. Learned a little bit of nutrition right there. Sorry, it took me a little bit to understand what's going on in the book. Uh, you know, TF means true or false. Um, there you go. <laughs> Talk to y'all later.